Hello everyone! I would like to welcome you once again to the Janice May channel. Today we are going to do a tutorial on how to make paper bead dangles or paper bead charms or whatever kind of beads you're going to be using. You will have the same effect. Um, and then we will uh, attach the dangles into a ring finding and we will come up with this ring, this fun and playful ring. So uh, it's an easy project, um, beginner project. And also, if you notice, I'm wearing my tiara, paper bead tiara, of course. Uh, it will be a tutorial. Uh, hopefully our next tutorial when I'm ready for it and it's also something very fun to do great for pictures great for posting in your blog in your Facebook uh, girlfriend parties or however you want to use them so anyway uh, let's begin so this is the ring that we're gonna be doing today um, I have done uh, other rings in the past, but they were more of a difficult project. But this is um, beginners, I should say. So as you can see, these are two rings that I stack together, or uh, you can wear it as one like that. <clears throat> but to have that <clears throat> uh, effect where they're all clustered, you can wear two or stack two. You know, stackable rings are so in these days. So these are just two rings stuck together. Uh, more of like a statement piece, right? So what you need for this project, let me just set that aside. You need this ring finding with a one loop ring finding. Um, you can find this at your local Michaels or craft store. If not, I will try and list them under findings in my shop, in my Etsy shop. So you also need a head pin, you need bead cap, and you need daisy spacers. If you don't have daisy spacers, uh, this is about a 5 mm daisy spacer you can use a 60 seed bead or other kind of bead that um, will hold up your bead so it doesn't go through your uh, head pin so the other thing that I want to share with you um, I have this beautiful round paper beads. I just actually got this shipment from Philippines and they are just, I will call them choice cuts because uh, this is hand selected, the colors, so when they cut the paper they make sure that the vibrant colors would come out like these. So when I saw this I got inspired to make the ring so um, and there they have smaller holes as well so they are perfect for this project so this is what I'm gonna be using today also you can find this on my Etsy shop so first we're going to uh, make the dangles and I'm sorry for forgetting to mention you need one bigger bead so for this big bead dangle here looks like turquoise so they are of course paper beads so you need one big one so for the big one I would use the bigger bead cap the bead cap just kind of give your bead a finish like uh, dresses it up so right there Gold and turquoise always, always looks good together. So then what you're going to do, I will, I want to use my chain nose when I bend this 
head bent into an, an L or into a, an angle like that, a perfect L or a perfect 90 degree angle. So then I want to cut this and you need to measure when you're cutting so that all your loops are uniform. So half inch. Okay, I will take my round nose and I also mark a place for my round nose so that each time I just go back to where I marked so that way all my loops are uniform. So now I'm going to turn this into a loop. Just turn it like that and when you cannot go further anymore, uh, you need to reposition your pliers like so and then turn it some more until the two the end meets the base of your head pin. So there you are. This is your big dangle. And we're going to do the rest with our smaller dangles. You will make a total of 12 uh, small dangles. There are six beads here and six smaller ones here. So a total of 12. So let me show you just how to make the smaller dangle. It's the same as the way I made the bigger dangle. And you will put your daisy spacer on your head pin. You'll put your bead and again just bend this into an angle, cut it down to half an inch, take your chain nose, I'm sorry, your round nose, and make your loop like so. So you will make 12 of these and we will attach it into our ring finding. So now that I finish making the dangles, I will attach three dangles into the loop. So I already did two just to make it faster. Always, always rushing against time. So, and then close it up. I'm going to be doing uh, the other three beads attached on here. This time, I'm not going to attach the th other three beads into the loop because there's not enough space. This is a heavy gauge uh, head pin, so it's kind of thick. I will open, and this time, I will attach it to the bead dangle itself, like so not onto the loop on the ring finding because there's not enough space anymore. Do the same thing and attach the other two the same way. Attach the last bead into the dangle itself. Close it up and your first ring is finished. You do the same thing with the bigger dangle. First do the bigger dangle and then attach three of the beads on each side like so. Three on this side and three on this side and the bigger dangle. There you are. Thanks for watching.